Hi everyone, welcome to Straight From the Divine Tarot. We are Friday, June 21st, 2024, and I'm doing a collective brief for you. It'll be the third one that I'll be uploading, I hope, today. Um, happy, happy summer. Happy first day of summer. Happy summer solstice. Hopefully you're going to have a great weekend. I'm going to skip the spiel. I've already said it a few times already tonight. So we'll just get right into the read, shall we? Let's see what Spirit wants to talk about right now. Let's see. Spirit guys, guardian angels, ancestors of the highest light light. Oh, discontent and boredom. Four. Hmm. Take back your power. So somebody's not happy where they are, so take back your power and do something about it. That's what I just heard. You're bored with the scenario. You're not getting anything out of it. Maybe somebody's ignoring you. You're ignoring them. You're not looking too happy. Are you feeling left out? I don't know. That's the overarching energy. Bottom of the deck. Light. Something. Somebody doesn't want something to end. Keep repeating a bad pattern of behavior. Don't want to learn a lesson. Lessons haven't been integrated yet, maybe. Something's coming back to kick somebody in the pants. Okay? Light. So there's truth and clarity coming through. Maybe you're coming to an aha moment. You know, an epiphany. Um, I don't know. You want some more happiness in your life. You want to follow your heart. You want more passion. Take it for whatever it is. 19 is extreme happiness. It could be healing. It could be truth and clarity. Turning to the divine. So the universe is in reverse. So maybe somebody's life is upside down right now. Something's coming back around again. It's unfinished business. Recognition and reward. Three. This is the Empress Three. It could be a divine feminine, male or female, doesn't matter. Mother and or pregnancy. All right, you're getting. I don't know. You could be a creator. You're creating something new, a philanthropist, um, a humanitarian, unconditional love. You're doing something out of love for sure. Something you do love. Let's see. You can be celebrating here. Three, three. You send a masters. You could be one, but you're celebrating. Congratulations. Happy news is coming towards you. You're going to have reason to celebrate. Or people are going to be celebrating you. Okay? Let's see. I'm going to do try to get this one done quickly because, you know, I'm just not happy with YouTube right now. <laughs> so we have uh, discontent and boredom for... So you, you're in control of your life. So if you're discontent and bored, this could be an emperor. You're thinking about an emperor. I don't know. Take it for whatever it is. But uh, you're in control of your life. Yeah. Uninterested in whatever's going on in your life now. It's it's worn out. It's welcome. Or somebody's worn out. They're welcome. It's time to go. Whether it's a job, a situation, a person, a passion. Forcer. Forces things on you. Forces their way in. Uses force to get what they want. You're, you're done with this person. Okay, you see for what you see this person for whoever they are. Okay, that's a drama started. Boss daddy, stable rich business owner, CEO, big dick energy. This could be you or somebody you're dealing with. It could be a, uh, it could be a boss. Okay, it could be your own dad. It could be a baby father. I don't know. Take it for whatever it is. Grudge holder, you're done with this grudge holding. Maybe you did something back in '92 and they keep bringing it up. Whatever. You know what I mean? Romantic love affair, sex fix, secret lover. So somebody has a sick, a sick, a sick lover, <laughs> a secret lover, or you do. There's a dirty offer trying to. Somebody's trying to get their, their into your energy or just into your life. They don't want to go. That's what it looks like. No, don't, don't. Ignore them. You're ignoring them or they're ignoring you. Spiritual hater. Hates on your spirituality, light, magic, and power, and they're creeping. Somebody's creepy. A wolf in sheep's clothing, be careful. They talk shit, and they're trying to bait you or get you hooked on something or on them. I don't know. Somebody took the bait. Somebody with a bad reputation, okay? Or they want to give you a bad reputation. If there's anything with the last two reads... Somebody's out to really do you in, make you look bad, take everything away from you because out of jealousy or it could be in institutions that are involved, crooked leaders, crooked people in positions of look overlooking the vulnerable, whatever. They're up for themselves, right? And they're, they're making it a, 
making bets if this is the same read who can you know make make the dancey uh, the dancey make the monkey dance you know you could be using spell work some of them are some of them aren't i don't know whatever it is it's not good news or a piece of shit okay maybe you're working with these people maybe you've caught on to the the, the, the links of the depravity and you're just done you're over it you're not feeling too good about them right forcing narratives on people's lives labels you don't deserve you do deserve neglected i failed to give you what you need so this is you could be this could be family friend love it could also be work it could be you are in a business overlooking the vulnerable and you failed you failed these people or these people are failing these people and you see what you see what's going on you got to do something about it time i'm afraid it's too late to take action it's never too late okay ego i let my pride get in the way of our connection confusion i feel un, un pardon me i feel unclear about where we stand yeah, we'll leave it there. It's all about ego here, okay? Ego and pride. Now, it could be a connection between people, love, family, friend, work, or connection with the divine. With your own self, maybe, okay? With your own value system. Take it for whatever it is, because I'm, I'm picking up that something to do yet again with the first two reads discontent and boredom for so you're gonna have to take some action okay you're gonna have to take back your power boss up and do something about this maybe you didn't feel interested in the in the past you know it's just too much work I mean, that was really getting to you whatever this is okay and whatever situation everybody's story is different discontent and boredom for uninterested neglected maybe people are being neglected yeah there's fright here depression phobia and paranoid You could be afraid if you're dealing with people that have clout and far-reaching and you're afraid of your own life, you know, being ruined. And or if this is a relationship, I don't know. So he's backed into a wall, though, in the corner. We got this last read, too. Natural disaster, risk, frustration, and survive. How am I going to survive this, right? Maybe you're thinking about taking a big risk. You're really frustrated, whoever this is. 38 is 11, that's justice. It's going to be a big risk. Maybe you might jeopardize your position wherever you are, or your relationship, or your standing, or your status, or your money. There's an accident here. 16. It's a tower bringing it all down. Danger, caution, yeah. Maybe you're afraid of making a mistake. I get it. Stress. You're being bullied, or other people are being bullied. It was all to win. I look at me. I'm the king of the castle. I'm the king of the hill or the queen of the hill. 19, illumination, success, victory, and achievement. Okay? I'm, if it has anything to do with the first two reads, honest to God, I, I really do feel that the, the universe, the divine, your spirit team, they're backing you up. And you are the catalyst to bring change. You're the catalyst to bring illumination to a situation. And you, you can't fail when you got God back in you. Okay? But we'll see. It, it could be different things for different people. Everybody's stories are different. What's the, what's the message here, please? Discontent, boredom, forward, uninterested, neglected, fright. 62, that's Nate. Okay? you got to do the right thing. you got to act with integrity, loyalty, and honesty, strength, and courage. You have resilience here. You have might and power and control behind you. Okay? Maybe you're somebody who's trying to control a situation. Damage, control it. Maybe you're afraid you're going to fuck up. I don't know. Afraid to do the right thing because then if you if it is a work thing, then everybody that you work with that's involved in this is going to hate you maybe. So they want you to cut corners and rip people off and lie some more. Maybe you are a voice to this, okay? A PR person, whatever. But you know whatever's been done here is wrong. If it's a relationship, family, or friend, you know what happened here is not right, okay? You did something out of boredom and discontent or somebody else did, okay? And now you're no longer interested. Or you're, they're afraid you're no longer interested in them, right? Because they neglected you. They failed you. Now they're fri frightened that they lost you if this is a relationship. It's 
So he's forcing another to do something here. It could be the divine. Really putting, yeah, it was a backfire. <sighs> no communication, no movement forward. Somebody, somebody's trying to stop something. Some bad news. Whatever it is, it's bad news. I'm trying to stop some information from getting out into the public. What's the message here, please, Brad? <laughs> Thank you. It's a bad investment. Somebody overshot their shot, I just heard, okay? Losing everything, losing money, mis misappropriation of funds. End of the line can't go any further, okay? You get what you give. Relocation. Maybe somebody's trying to hightail it out of town. I don't know, take it for whatever it is. A nightmare. This is a nightmare. Somebody's really frightened here, okay? Nine of swords in reverse. Somebody stable and secure. Queen of Pentacles could be you or somebody else, male or female. Has something to do with stability, a healer, nurturing, balance, integrity, loyalty, and honesty, knowing your worth and value. I don't know. Somebody's, too, somebody's looking like they're not interested in, in dealing with this. They're just taking um, pictures of themselves, you know what I mean? So, so, it reminds me of somebody that's very vain, looking at their themselves in, in, you know, the mirror or looking at their money. At, take it for whatever it is. Admiring their money. Nine of swords in the reverse. It could be somebody that just doesn't care. Just look at me. I'm just taking some selfies here. Yeah, nine nine. So you know that somebody bashed you over the head with one of these wands. And they're acting like they didn't do any. I had nothing to do with it. But you know it was done because they have blood on their sleeves, right? You're side-eyeing them. Or maybe somebody's side-eyeing you and blaming you. Try, maybe you're, you didn't do anything, maybe. Okay? Maybe you did. I don't know. But maybe you didn't do anything. You had no hand in this. But you know that everybody's looking at you like, uh oh they're getting ready to blame me. Maybe they're trying to set you up. I don't know. You overcame, persevered, putting up some boundaries here, Okay? Somebody's, yeah, I think you're going to have to put some boundaries up with some people. Empty victory. Taking on losses here. Somebody's very ego, ego-driven here, okay? Very jealous, petty and cruel, very abusive. They don't care who they hurt as long as they get what they want. It's the only one standing here with the swords, right? Everybody's got no swords. They're running off, taking on losses. This is somebody that's willing to do whatever it takes to win. You know what I mean? Very smarmy. What did you win? Look, I'm the, I'm the smartest. No, you're not. It's a loss. It's a defeat. It's a backfire. It's bad news. No communication. Unable to take action here. Trying to stop something. Trying to stop information from getting out about a home, a family, an organization, an establishment. Something that's been, you know, a foundation of some sort, a gathering, a marriage. I don't know. A foundation that's been set up, I heard. I don't know. So something's. They're trying to. Someone is trying to get this information. Let's stop this information from going out. This is a backfire. This is bad news. Something backfired on them. You're single, abundant, independent, self-sufficient, stable, and secure, or celibate. It's an entrepreneur. You're in your garden, tending to your garden, in whatever business you're in, male or female. Gloves are off here. Somebody did something they shouldn't have done. Now the gloves are fucking off, okay? You don't need anybody, okay? You're self-sufficient. Could be a business owner. So this could be something people are doing to, to harm business owners. Hmm. No, it was me. It was me. Mm -mm. Yeah, trying to stop you from moving forward. Okay? Somebody's in hot, hot water. They're in trouble. They're trying to block you, block your business, block your stability. They don't want you talking to nobody. Give it out false information about you. They're in trouble. Okay?
You could be doing tarot. Ooh, that reminds me of what I just posted. Gathering information. Somebody's trying to gather information. I'm doing some homework here. Paying a middleman or something. Somebody's getting paid to stop you. I'm picking up somebody's hands are in the cookie jar and they shouldn't be. It's your cookie jar. Yeah. Starting to, they're trying, they're giving out false information, trying to, you have a new beginning here, okay? Somebody doesn't care what they're doing, they're going right over the edge. It's overkill, I just heard, just, this is a new beginning. You're taking a leap of faith, maybe you're innocent of this in, misinformation. Um, somebody's a fool. Yeah, you have, uh, you're going towards your destiny here. This is a divine timing change. Somebody's a gold digger and a cloud chaser. They're grieving and regretting her. Crying over spilt milk. Somebody's not feeling too proud of themselves or what they've done. They let, they let other people drown for something they did, maybe passing the buck. Somebody was struggling here and they didn't come to their aid. They always put you last. They wanted to be first. Well, guess what? Something's happening here. Yeah, it's all about money, about opportunity, right? But notice in this deck, the after tarot deck, instead of getting, maybe they, maybe it's about, if it is divination, it has something to do with spiritual gifts. They got their spiritual gifts taken away or they're trying to take away your money. You know, a handful of dung beetles here. Dung beetles living shit, so it's a handful of shit. So the divine, instead of giving them this, the divine's giving them this. Or they, they're they trying to take away your money, but the divine's out. See, dung beetles are also known as scarabs, right? In Egyptology, they've always been known as good luck. No matter how they try to stop your money, take things away from you, take your opportunities, they wanted you like this. The divine's going, no, no, no. I'm going to give them a handful of shit. I'm going to give you what you deserve. So you can go into this and into your garden and work in peace and have peace and serenity. And they're going to go towards poverty. You know, two people could be involved here. You're going to be walking away with the lion's share. Or this is people collaborating together. Two of them are, walking, are going without and somebody they were collaborating with. She's not starving, that's for sure. It's going to be walking away with the hefty hefty bag of the loot, you know, the most, the, the lion's share. Maybe that's what they want, right? I want all the money. You do the work. I'm going to take the majority of the loot. You could stay out in the cold here. Mallet. There's a mallet here. Could have something to do with the ju judicial system. Somebody got caught, they have to come clean, stealing your inheritance and or a large amount of money. This is family discord. If it has anything to do with family or an inheritance or a spiritual inheritance. They walked right into the trap. Somebody's watching them do it too, online. And they're going, yeah, you were right all along. So maybe there's an investigation going on that you're aware of. Maybe it has something to do with tarot, a platform, YouTube, people in the background stealing your work. Shadow banning you. Take it for whatever it is. <laughs> X marks the spot. Okay. So they're plotting and planning. This is fraud. Theft. You're speaking some truth about this fraud and theft. Making changes in the world. Opening some eyes, I suppose. And you're not going to mince some words, okay? You set some boundaries. It is what it is. They're going to get cut out. They're interfering with your money. They're intercepting your money. They can't come correct. Poor judgment on their part, right? They don't want to be judged harshly now. Because if it is anything like that, a business, an institution, a platform, they're going to get a black eye from this. I mean, just hypothetically, as an example, because I'm working on YouTube. This is a platform I use. They're making money from people creating. Now, imagine if they're stealing people's money. Like, you know, I'm not saying YouTube is. I'm just saying institutions. could be a judicial system. could be anything. Stealing from those that are making this business work. What do you think those people are going to do? They're going to say, screw you, I'm going elsewhere. It's lawsuit after lawsuit after lawsuit. They don't want that kind of headache, do they? 
poor judgment, karma, no going back, letting it go, right? Letting it go. Removing restrictions. Oh boy. Well, they were bored. They didn't like the way you looked. They didn't like the way you sounded. They didn't, I don't know, like your color, your gender, your belief system. Well, there you go. Sony needs to heal. Go sit in the corner and go heal, okay? Yeah, this has something to do with work. Someone's master a skill, self-mastery, put a lot of work in, effort. And here's somebody coming in. The eight pentacles here. There's seven here. Where's the other one? Going to a middleman, I guess. <laughs> and here he's coming along taking another one. So it's going to be out of the eight, there's five still on the bush. I'm saying eight here. And three are missing. This is about an investment. There's proof and evidence now. Parting of ways, there's lack of trust. So if this has something to do with work, family, friend, whatever, an, inher an inheritance, spiritual inheritance, you don't trust these motherfuckers. They're karmics. You got proof. Now they're out. Yeah, they're greedy and selfish. You don't trust them. Somebody could be saying, over my dead body, I'm not letting go of this. It's not theirs to hold on to. But you know. Archangel Azrael is going, okay, you have it your way. They could have wanted to take you out, but you're safe and secure. They want to control your money. This is a tower. Boom, boom, boom. It's all coming down. They're in their emotions now. Right? Somebody can't create. They didn't create this work. Why are they getting paid for it? I can understand that you're using somebody's platform if it is something like that. Or you work for an institution, they do get a cut or whatever. False pro, uh, false contracts, ending a collaboration. So this person's, look at this. Somebody created this statue of, you know, this person hang, you know, carrying this big basket, basket of gold. Hmm. And only one person's, one creator. Usually there's one creator and two watching. Now somebody's taking the lion's share here. If it's an inheritance, yeah, somebody's in their emotions here. It's going to be a shock. Something's going to happen quick. Somebody's getting kicked out, tossed out. So redirect. This was a false foundation, whatever this is. Everything's getting down. Yeah, they're being exposed. Public humiliation. Yeah. You're stable and secure. This truth and clarity. This is a foundation. Um, property, home, family. Truth and clarity, you're exposing this. And you're very stable. If they say they're crazy, they're just crazy. No, you're very stable. Truth and clarity right there. Red flags. Somebody's trying to flag you before your stuff gets up on there. If it's, a, I'm just using this for an extent. Big red flag, okay? Somebody's childish, playing games, bored, dissatisfied. They gotta let go. They're gonna get let go of their job. They were holding back your work, holding back your money. They felt entitled. They could have... Uh, impersonated you, taking credit for your work and achievements and ideas. They felt entitled. Look at me, my shit down stink. They're getting let go here. They're playing games here, gaslighting. Truth and clarity. You took the higher road, you walked away. You're not in, engaging with these people. You're not competing with them and you're not going to fight with them. You're just going to walk away. That's how we're, you know, adults do that. I'm not going to sit here and fight and point fingers. But I will bring it to light. And if I'm still not happy, I'm walking away. I'm taking my business elsewhere and somebody else is going to be happy with my work. You know what I'm saying? Truth and clarity. There's a lot of people getting our palms greased here. It's a cover-up. There's a lot of confusion. You're speaking the truth now. That, now that you're speaking the truth, people are seeing the truth. You're not mentally conflicted. No more stalemates. Right? They were greedy and selfish here. You get your wish fulfillment. You're out in the, in the public eye, possibly. Okay? You're divinely protected. This is corruption. They wanted power and control. Crooked leaders. Image to uphold. You know what I'm saying? Abuse of power, abuse of authority. They get the lion's share, right? They're gluttonous, like I said. Fair is fair. That's balance. That's fair. 
right? What is fair? Leaving people out in the cold? No. If it's a relationship, they took your love, your cup of love and poured it out. They didn't want it. They wanted the temporary things. They wanted to get there quicker. You know what I'm saying? Soulless beings maybe gave up their souls. Who knows? Whoever this is, they're not feeling too happy with themselves. Whoever knows about it, they're not feeling happy about it. I think they're going to get ready to bring justice to a situation. There we go. This is a crime. This was abuse. Bringing others into danger. It was recklessness. It was a scam. There we go. It was all materialistic. Greed, jealousy. Okay. Abuse of power, abuse of authority as a group, family. You're going to be happy here. Yeah. You took back your power. This could be you or somebody else. Somebody in power is going to be taking some sort of action. What I say? Action. Bearing false witness. Somebody's in debt. They took a huge gamble. They lost. Didn't do their homework. Did If you brought this to somebody's attention before, somebody didn't do their work. They didn't do their homework. Somebody's going to have to pay this back. Did something quickly just because they were bored. Yeah, take it for whatever it is. There's going to be some communication here. Okay? They're looking into it. Somebody's a lying sack of shit. Devil energy. Could have addictions. They're going to be tied to this. They're going to find that they're bound to this. Somebody's going to be tied to this. It could be contracts, community guidelines. I don't know. It's over for this person. If it's an inheritance, they tried to take you out. This has changed, though. There's no balancing this out, okay? This is disaster. They're playing games here. Now they're scared. It's all about... They're blocked. They blocked you continuously. They had pitted people against you. You stood your ground and you're being protected here. One against many. Okay? They're scared. Maybe a lot of people are going to come after them. Or come after the business or the uh, the institution. There's going to be a lot of people who are pissed off. Because there you go. Divine Feminine. You are a creator. Male or female. This is creator. Through your pain you create. You're an artist. You are... Um, a creator of some sort, you're loved, you love very deeply, you're a philanthropist, you're humanitarian, very protected, and they kept trying to stall you, right, and lied about it. They're going to give you half-truths, by the way. <laughs> Pretend they didn't see it. Yeah, right. Didn't want you to speak your truth, possibly. They didn't foresee what was to happen, though. This was all manipulation, illusions. They could have been using magic. I don't know if it has something to do with the, uh, this is corruption, with the um, inheritance. There's a lot of money involved, whatever this is, this is corruption. They've been stopped. They can't go any further, okay? Out of control. Well, I think what they're going to do is they stop this person to put their people's fears and worries at ease. The truth is going to come out. Somebody's going to be speaking some truths, some leader. Okay. Return return some money. Somebody's not happy here, okay? Return some money. Somebody was stalking another. This was abuse, pettiness, cruelty online, okay? Something's over. This is against the law. It was full of ego, wanting control. Yeah, this person's shitting bricks here, okay? They don't care. There's no love. There's no love for what they do. Love for another human being. This is a platform of some sort. They're shit bricks, literally, okay? Ending a collaboration. This was a false contract. Congrat congratulations, okay? It could be, if it's a contract, if it's the will, they reconstituted a will, try to make you sign papers that weren't legit or submit it Doctor documentation, uh, false documentations and accusations about you, um, brought in a doppelganger, whatever. You are the true authentic person here and you're being protected here, okay? You could be a divine feminine, you could be a mother, okay? You could be a male in divine feminine energy. Like I said, you're, you're creative and you're artistic and you are creating something beautiful. You're abundant, down to earth. You have great ideas. It looks like a light bulb, although it's not. It's a scepter. But you have great ideas. You're meant to be a star. I'm meant to be seen. You know what I'm saying? Oh, wow.
It is what it is. Bored and discontent for... Light's coming out here, okay? Somebody's shining a light on somebody that's just not doing their work. They're bored at work. If it's work, somebody is being rejected, abandoned, let go. Lights, stuff is being illuminated here. Truth and clarity, okay? Somebody's uninterested in hearing their fucking psychobabble, um, why they did what they did, their opinions. No, not interesting. Just go. Bye-bye. That's what I'm picking up, okay? Maybe it was somebody that tried to hit, hit on you before and you were uninterested and they didn't like what, or you weren't uninterested in them. I don't know. People have weird reasons why they do shit. I'm picking up, though, who, whatever excuse these people have, whoever they have to answer to, they're uninterested. Bye. Forcer. Forces things on you, forces their way, and uses force to get what they want. Time. I'm afraid it's too late to take action. It's never too late. Take action. Okay? Neglected. I failed to give you what you need. Or neglected their duties, let's say. Okay? Fright. Depression, phobia, and paranoid. They... So I'm scared. Natural disaster, risk, frustration, and survive. How am I going to survive now? I've been stealing all my life. What am I supposed to do now? <laughs> this person, whoever this person's, or persons, I should say, it could be more than one, are, have wreaked havoc, okay? In your life, in your business, in your family, whatever this is. And it's all being brought out to light now. They have no, nothing or no one covering them anymore. No more umbrella. Justice is here. They thought, well, okay, I have a position I can, I can hide behind. No. I have a badge I can hide behind. No. I have, you know, whatever job this is, whatever situation, there's obviously a large amount of money in it, and maybe family, Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Cups, I don't know, Six of Cups, in reverse, giving out false information. Okay. Co create what I'm telling you. You're a creator. Okay? 40, taking back your power. Wisdom here. Somebody was walking a very thin line. Maybe you working for this company and or in charge of this or know of it, trying to please everybody all at once. You can't do this. Okay? Maybe you're the middleman. You have to answer for, for slights that you know. Somebody's doing something wrong in the background and you got to talk to the person that's getting slighted. Take it for whatever it is. Somebody thought they were higher than you because they got to something quicker than you. Ooh, let me get my stuff out before they do. I know I've got some of their, their work on here. It'll look like I'm the one who did it. You know what I mean? You're too smart for them. Yeah, happy, happy. You're going to be happier, okay? You had integrity, loyalty, and honesty. And honestly, when you're an honest person, people know. They feel it, okay? No more making money off the backs of others, okay? No more treasure island. They were hiding and cloaking money, hiding and cloaking that they were taking money. Oh, boy. They don't want this getting out to the public. The higher powers involved. I can't make it up. Yang. Masculine principle. Okay, you, the power is in your hands, whoever this is, whether it's you as a, a creator or the persons behind the scenes that created this mess. You know what I mean? You're manifesting. They have to take action and you will be taking action. Okay, 31 four is corruption. It's four, 31 in reverse. Don't ask why. So when they get caught and they go, why, why me? Well, you know why. You know what I'm saying? That's the way it goes. 40. Co-create. Creativity. Art. Inspiration. Fruition. Manifestation. You may not consider yourself a creative person, but in fact, you're creating your reality every moment of every day via your thoughts, feelings, beliefs, intentions, and actions. Yet you must consider that you do so in partnership with spirit, consciousness, God, or whatever name you call your higher power. I love how spirit works. 404. Okay. You are a spark of this intelligence that works through you, nudging you with inspired thought and intuitive guidance. You are a paintbrush that co-creates a beautiful, unique expression of your own individ, individ, pardon me, individuality blended with universal spirit. You are a product of divine inspiration, and now you're aligned with it to create miracles. Are you a miracle maker? I think we all can be. 
When you view your life as art and know you co-create it, only beauty and grace result. Prepare to be amazed. Happy, happy. Congratulations. You're on top of the world here. Or on top of this egg, at least. <laughs> You're a star. Wishes are being granted. You're being protected. 26. Happy, happy. Joy and contentment, a sense of fulfillment, a feeling that all is well. Your desires are effortlessly fulfilled now. Find joy in the present moment, whatever is happening, and be satisfied with things as they are. You're free from the shackles of longing and able to experience the liberation that comes from actually being happy moment to moment, for you have chosen happiness over yearning for it. Now is the time for feeling joy for the sake of joy and experiencing contentment. None of this is because of something outside of yourself. Your happiness is a result of your being at one with Spirit's plan for your life. All is well. The tide is in for now. Enjoy playfully splashing in it. Treasure Island 9 in reverse. It's a protection message. Poverty consciousness in the sense of not enough cast a shadow on your past. So this is for the, the evil dealers. These ideas and core beliefs come with a high cost. Do you really want to proclaim yourself as, as a victim of disappointment and failed expectations? Are you avoiding success because you will grow so tall that others will want to cut, cut you down? Or is it possible that you're caught in, in a fear that you will lose what you have acquired? So you hold on so tight that you miss the opportunities to expand. So this person doesn't want to expand, they just want to take. You are challenged to change the way you see the world and move from a perception of limitations to a perception of abundance. Take a risk, for you have nothing to lose except your confinement in a prison, do you understand, of your own making. Open the door and find the abundance waiting for you to claim it. So you're going to have to make your own, co-create your own abundance instead of taking from others. Because the higher power is involved. Higher power, conscious contact with a higher power, the, pre the presence of the divine, seeing source energy in all things, committing to a partnership with spirit co-creating with a higher power. This card reminds you that you are more than a person trying to get ahead and make things happen for yourself and others. You have an immortal soul and are gifted with a human life through which a higher power can express itself. At this time, you need to be conscious of your connection to spirit and foster it through prayer and meditation. Ask, what is the highest good for all? How can I serve? Then get out of your own way and trust that there is a plan for your life more wondrous than you can ever know. You are always protected and divinely directed. Now, in one of the reads I posted, or will be posting, you are the catalyst to bringing this out in the open. You don't have a choice. You've chosen, or God has chosen you, let's say. Okay? So congratulations. What you're going through wasn't for in vain. It's going, what you're experiencing is for a good reason. Okay? Congratulations. You're doing us proud. Are you doing the world proud by standing up and taking, you know, right is right, wrong is wrong, right? And whatever this is, whether it's an, an inheritance, spiritual inheritance, business, love, family, work, creations, eight of wands, something fast is happening here, eight of wands, they're trying to block you, okay? Block you from speaking truth, maybe. This is bad, bad news, it's a backfire. Vehuel, 49, 13, it's over. If it's an inheritance, they wanted you out. They wanted you gone. You are the phoenix rising. The great and exalted God. Grandeur makes one passionate toward God. Eight of Pentacles. Eight, eight. Abundance is near. Like a bell. 31. You took back your power. You could be a divine masculine. This could be a divine masculine hap, hap, helping a divine ma uh, feminine. Who knows? Male or female does not matter. The divine masculine, masculine is the one that takes action, okay? The divine feminine is the one that receives. But this could also be in the reverse where this was corrupt, wanting power and control, right? Having an image to uphold. God the teacher, intellectual talent provides knowledge. So somebody was abusing their power and authority. Queen of Pentacles, st stability. This is knowing your worth and value, having integrity, loyalty, and honor. Working hard, being independent. 5-5, five, five, that's change. Expect the unexpected. It could be in the reverse. Somebody was very greedy, materialistic, unfaithful. You can't trust them. Jealous. Mebahia. The eternal God, intellectual lucidity, provides consolation and compensations. They're going to have to compensate you. Ten of Cups could be family. It could be a group. Or this is extreme happiness coming through. 71 is 8. Another 8. Jeez Louise. God, master of the universe. Divine warrior, confounds the wicked and brings victory and peace. 
So you're being blessed by the angels. They're kissing you. This is victory. This is going to be on the news. or This is something you're out in the public here. Public eye. Victory, success, reward, recognition. You're garnering attention. Or whatever they've done has garnered attention and no one can ignore it anymore. God who took evil. This is destiny. Fated. They're gold diggers and cloud chasers. And this is change. So longevity protects, protects against infirmities. Congratulations. You, you have, you've ascended. You made the right choices. It's something to do with a contract or a third party getting in the way. A third party. It could be an institution. It could be a person. It could be a situation or, you know, a relationship. Sex, drugs, alcohol. Joy, it's joy of God. Joy and pleasure brings happiness to couples, removes negative en energy. So you, you might be going into a higher level soulmate connection who's coming in to help you. It could be somebody with in authority, with authority. It could be Archangel Michael, who knows? Somebody's shitting bricks here. Somebody loves you. They're going to be taking action here. Justice, that's 11, 58, that's 13, it's over. It's over for these bozos. They were collaborating against you. Law and order. You spoke some truth. You're going to be speaking some truth. Lawia, the exalted God. Victory grants victory and protection from lightning. So you're going to be face, safe and sound from this tower coming down. You're the catalyst, like I said. Uh, let's get some angel numbers on it and call it a night. Hopefully uh, you're going to have a great night, a great evening. 41.30 when I said that. Angels, what's up? Angel uh, numbers here. How would you like to end this reading? Go to the collective, please. Thank you. 101. Thank you, Spirit. <clears throat> what does that look like? Laugh out loud, right? They're laughing at you. Starting over. Intelligence, dynamics, making a difference, failures, personal or spiritual development. Happiness is linked to self-expression, growth, and experience. Learning from failure is key. Happiness is real, possible, and, and around? Happiness is real possible and around okay understand its process and the pursuit of it joy is fluid it's in the little things and the big ones fails are fun start fresh so i've often said this if you're starting over look at look at it as a child with inquisitive curious eyes with excitement wow how can i you know what kind of life can i build for myself from here on out you're not starting from scratch you're starting from experience you know what you don't want. You know what not to do from now on. You know what you want. So don't look at it as however this resonates with you as an ending. I would look at it like, oh boy, where can I create from here on out? Right? 303, bottom of the deck. Taking chances. 101, 303. That's funny. Success, knowledge, friendship, impatience, freedom, optimism. When chances present themselves, seize them to do something out of the ordinary, whether in your professional or personal life. I, it has something to do with professionals, okay, and or work. You will find success by welcoming creative impulses and having faith in your own abilities. Trust in chance and take risks on opportunities that could change your life for the better. So if this is how it has anything to do with your inheritance or your family, these are the professionals dealing with it, okay? And or if it's any other walk of life, any kind of work you're, you're dealing with, you could be a creator of some sort in the arts. Don't have to be, just take it for whatever it is, okay? I uh, hope you liked the reading. Until next time, take care.